OK, I'm going to add together some fractions, but this time the fractions are going to have different denominators. Here's my first example. 3 fifths add 7 tenths. Now I can't add together to these two fractions straight away because the fifths and tenths are different types of fractions. What I need to do is to make them the same. In this particular example, I can turn fifths into tenths because I can easily multiply 5 into 10. So the way I do that is by multiplying by 2. Now remember, if I'm multiplying the bottom number by 2, I must remember to multiply the top number by 2 as well so that I have the same fraction. So 3 times 2 is 6 and 5 times 2 is 10. So what have I done? I've changed 3 fifths into 6 tenths. Remember it's the same fraction just written in a different way. Now because these two numbers are exactly the same at the bottom I can add them together. 6 tenths and 7 tenths makes 13 tenths. Because I have a top heavy fraction here what I need to do is to change this into a mixed number. Now remembering that 10 tenths makes one whole one I've got enough here to make one whole one and 3 tenths left over. I can do the same thing with mixed numbers. Here's an example. 2 and 5 eighths add 1 and 3 quarters. This time I need to change the second fraction. I need to change quarters into eighths. Again I can easily do this by just simply multiplying by 2. I'll write 2 and 5 eighths down because I'm not going to change that. I've got one whole one but this three quarters part I'm going to change into so many eighths and because I'm multiplying by two I'm going to have six eighths. When I add these two numbers together two whole ones and one whole one makes three whole ones five eighths and six eighths makes eleven eighths I find that the second part of the mixed number, the fractional part, is a top heavy fraction so I know I can make an extra whole one Remember, 8 eighths makes one whole one, so I have enough to make an extra whole one. Because I use 8 eighths up to make that whole one, I've only got 3 eighths left over.